Hello, today I show you left corner parsing with deduction rules. Left corner parsing combines top down with bottom up approaches. If you look at the tree, um, an important role plays the left corner, which is the first symbol of every right hand side of a rule. And the algorithm tries to reduce reduces the left corner in a bottom-up approach and the later symbols are matched top-down in a top-down approach. The algorithm can neither handle epsilon productions nor left recursion. Actually you would want to allow a production rule s expands to epsilon as long as the start symbol does not occur in any right hand side in order for the grammar to include the empty string. But this production rule does not contain a left corner so the algorithm cannot work with it and also that means it cannot accept the empty string although it it's in the grammar the items consist of three stacks the first stack as you can see here starts out with the input string these are symbols that want to be bottom up reduced and want to be matched um, bottom up on the second stack, there are uh, uh, categories, so there are symbols from the right hand side of the rules which are not left corners and they wait to be completed top down. And on the third stack, there are open categories that are, that are waiting to be processed later on. The working of the algorithm is not that straightforward, so generally you can just remember three situations for each of the deduction rules. First, the reduce rule can be applied if the first symbol on the first stack is the first symbol, so the left corner of a production rule. The move rule can be applied if the first symbol on the second stack is the dollar sign. That means it's the end of a right hand side. And the remove step can be applied if the first symbol on the first and second stack are the same. So now with uh, our first item, the A, the terminal A, is the left corner of this production rule. That means we can apply a reduce step. When we apply the reduce step, the A from the, so the first symbol, the left corner, is removed from the first stack. We put all uh, following symbols from the right hand side followed by a dollar sign on the second stack. In this case, there are no further symbols on the right hand side, so we just put the dollar sign there. And the left hand side is placed on the third on the third stack to be processed later on. Now because the the terminal A on the right hand side was the only symbol and we put the dollar symbol just on the second stack we now can apply the move stack, the, the move rule. The move rule now removes the dollar symbol from, from the second stack and um, the first symbol from the third stack that we place there for later processing is now moved to the first stack, so it's now about to be processed. Here the, the non-terminal A now is our first symbol on the first stack and it's also the left corner of this production rule so or of this part of the tree. That means we can apply another reduce step now with this production rule. And as before the left corner is removed from the first stack now we have uh, symbols following the 
the left corner, so B and C followed by a dollar sign are placed on the second stack. And the left hand side, the S is placed on the third stack for later processing. Now we have the terminal B on the first stack. And this is also the left corner of this production rule. So we apply another reduce step. And as before, the B is then removed from the first stack. Um, because it's the only symbol on the right hand side, we place the dollar symbol on the second stack. And the non-terminal B, the left hand side for later processing, is placed on top of the right stack. Now we have again the dollar symbol as first symbol on the second stack. That means we apply the move rule and as before the dollar sign is removed from the second stack and now the B the topmost symbol on the right stack is moved to the front of the first stack for processing now. Now we have the B which was um, basically uh, processed by bottom up and we have the B on the second stack that was basically predicted top down. And because our the both the processing and the prediction match, we can now remove both of them with the remove step. So now the first symbol on the first stack is the terminal C, which is also the right, uh, the left corner of this production rule. That means we apply another reduce step. And as before, the C is removed from the first step. The dollar symbol is placed on the second step and the left hand side is parked for later processing on the third stack. Now again, we have the dollar sign on the second stack that means we apply a, the move rule and then the c from the third stack is placed on the first stack for processing now now the two c's are the same that means we can remove them with the remove rule now we have the dollar symbol again on the second stack that means we apply the move rule and can then place the S symbol from the third stack on the first stack. And now the S which we processed, um, which we produced by bottom up processing and the start symbol which was there from the beginning waiting to be top down matched. They are now the same and can be removed with the remove step. Now all our three stacks are empty. That means we have matched all our um, bottom up symbols with, with all our top down symbols. And we also have no category waiting to be left processed. And this, uh, this is exactly our goal item. And it means um, the input string wall is um, part of the grammar and the passing process was successful. And that was left corner passing. <laughs>